Welcome to the Homestar Mid-Century 3 Drawer Assembly Tutorial. Assembly should take place on an open area on a flat surface. To begin, remove the parts and hardware from its packaging and clear the area of any packaging. You will need a hammer, a Phillips, and a flathead screwdriver for assembly. Take your left gable and lie it with all the screw placement holes facing up. To install the slides, screw three euro screws in each slide and then screw them into the gable with the arrow onto the slides pointing towards the finish edge. Do this for each slide on the gable. Place two metal cams onto the gable with the open edge of the cams angled down towards the unfitted edge of the gable. Take your right gable and line it with all screw placement holes facing up and install slides and metal cams just as previously done for the left gable. Retrieve your top panel and lay it finished side down. Screw in four dowels into the top panel. Attach the top panels to connect the gables by inserting the dowels previously installed into the holes into the unfinished edge of the gables. Once the dowels are in their corresponding placement holes, tighten the cam bolt by using the flat heads by screwing clockwise. Then attach the bottom panel to the bottom of the connected gables by screwing the conformant bolts into the unfitted sides of the bottom panels. To install legs to the bottom panels, press the six T-nuts into the finished sides of the bottom panels. On the unfinished side of the bottom panel, Align the legs with the holes on the panels, then use the three screws per leg to secure them to the panel. It's best to install the backboards with the unit lying front side down. Take the backboard and align it with the opening of the back of the unit. Be sure the cutout of the backboard is facing towards the top of the unit. First, to secure the backboard, use the finishing nails and nail one and on each corner of the backboard. Then to completely install the backboard, nail in all screws along the border of the backboard approximately 2 inches apart. Assemble the joists for the unit. Start off with the drawer front and screw 4 dowels into the inside drawer front. Connect the drawer sides to the drawer front and press two metal cams into each drawer sides with the open edge of the cam facing towards the metal cam. Connect the drawer sides to the drawer front, securing the sides by tightening the metal cams clockwise until tight. Slide the drawer bottom into the slits of the drawer sides all the way down and place drawer back on the drawer fitting the drawer bottom into the slit of the drawer back. Then secure it to the drawer by hammering two compression dowels into each side of the drawer. To install drawer handle, align handles with screw holes in the drawer front 
being sure to have the lip of the handle facing downward. Secure it to the drawer by screwing the handle screws throughout the inside of the drawer front into the handle. To build the rest of the drawers for the unit, repeat this process. If you wish to install the tip kit from this unit to prevent accidental tip overs, do so before installing the drawers into the unit. Locate the stud in the wall. Mark the stud's position with the pencil approximately one inch lower than the top of the unit if you cannot find the wall stud. Drill through the wall board using one quarter inch drill bit. Insert wall anchor. Insert the screws into the washer, then through strap near one end. Screw into the pencil mark on the stud or into the wall anchor. Move unit towards wall. Center the unit with the strap and insert it through the cutout. Screw other end of the strap into the underside of the top unit using the tap screws and washer. Extend the rails on each of the slides on the unit and fit them into the indentions of the drawer. Either pull the rails until they fully extend through the indentions or once the roll is placed at both indentions of both sides of the drawers, push the drawer into the unit which will help keep the rails in place. To secure the drawer to the side, screw M4 by 8 screws through each side of the drawers from the inside so that the screws into the corresponding placement holes in the slide. 